Now, originally I wanted to do this video where I release all of the personal information on this thief who was actually dumb enough to leave it in a public place. I wanted to do that because the guy we're gonna be talking about actually stole money from one of my moderators that I've had since the beginning of this YouTube channel. On top of that, the money that this guy stole was actually going towards my moderator's daughter's Christmas present. So that took me from already pissed off to beyond furious. But as much as I wanna be the guy that shares his email address, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, PlayStation Network tag, I can't do that. And for a couple reasons. Number one, I don't think the right thing for me to do is to stoop to this guy's level of scumminess. Number two, I have a pretty good idea of how the internet works and I know that there is no way I can release all of his information without him getting serious hate comments on his physical appearance, death threats, and potentially racism. I can't be the guy to incite that kind of behavior. It doesn't sit well with me. So as much as I would love to see this guy get punished, it can't be like that. Besides, I am primarily making this video to help out the girl who got her Christmas present stolen. So if you wanna know more about that, watch the rest of the video. And to any of you guys who are thinking about leaving comments on this video with any of his personal information, it's gonna be deleted. It's the holiday season and there are a handful of YouTubers doing giveaways, which I think is awesome, especially considering that this time of year, there are some families out there that don't have money to spend on gifts. But for every person on the internet doing a giveaway, there are at least a thousand thieves to match. I happen to have the misfortune of catching one. Now, many of you may not know this, but this YouTube channel actually has a dedicated Discord server, which primarily serves to help people answer any questions they might have about computers. But one of the other things in that server is a marketplace area for people to buy and sell their computer parts. Some of the users like to use it because there is no middleman involved and it helps them save money. Now, one of the first pinned messages in that section says to use verified PayPal transactions whenever you are buying or selling something. It helps ensure that nobody can get scammed. For those of you that don't know, a verified PayPal transaction works like this. PayPal will take a flat percentage from the money that the seller will make to keep track of the shipping label and tracking number to make sure that the buyer receives their product. The downside to that is that over the course of time, that flat percentage actually does add up to be quite a bit of money. So my moderator Gray doesn't like to use it because, and these are his words, I need to save the extra money when I can, and I'd like to think that if I show trust to another person, they'll be willing to do the same for me. And that's worked surprisingly well so far. He's made quite a few transactions on there, but unfortunately someone finally decided to take advantage of his kindness. Now, what exactly did this scammer do? Well, apparently he watches my videos and he decided he wanted to join the Discord server. He didn't talk very much, he chatted with some of the other members, and then he realized that we had the marketplace section that I talked about earlier. That's when he started posting items he wanted to sell, and this is what he said. 1060, six gigabyte graphics card, 8700K processor, Z370A motherboard, and an EVGA 120 millimeter RGB CLC cooler. Gray asked him what the price was and the scammer responded with best offer on all. And now here are the direct messages. $100 for the 1060 including shipping. I'll pay with PayPal friends and family so you won't have to pay fees. The price is about to drop on the 1060. They have announced an RTX 2060 coming. So like I touched on before, Gray is already showing that he is willing to trust this guy and help save him some extra money by only doing friends and family. Um, okay, that sounds fair enough. I can pay today. Just let me know your email for PayPal. This is where the guy makes his first mistake of providing his real email address that has his actual name in it. It's still 1.10 p.m. for me. I can have it out in the next hour. Just need an address. Sent. Please provide a tracking number when you ship it out, just so I can make sure someone is home for it. Just got it, boss. Should have a tracking number soon. Thank you. Out of curiosity, what is the exact brand and model? One day later with no response. Were you able to ship it out yet? Another two days later with no response. Have you been able to ship the card yet? I'm just eager to get it. I am thinking my daughter will enjoy it as a Christmas gift. And not only that, this guy also tried to scam another one of my moderators by proactively reaching out to him, seeing if he would take the bait as well. Now the username you're seeing in the screenshots is actually a different name than what he originally entered with. For those of you that don't know, in Discord, you can actually change your alias 
but the Discord identification number at the end of your name doesn't ever actually change. It's one of the many other reasons that made it so easy to figure out who this guy is. Now, I'm no genius, but I'm pretty sure we can all see the not so hidden message here. Now, a message to our scammer friend. You're not exactly the smartest guy of all time using an email address with your real name in it for a PayPal account that you're using to steal with. Yes, let's just go towards the circle. Oh. But I guess I should have expected that level of intelligence from you considering you left a link to your Twitch stream in a public text channel on that server, which not only has video of your face, but also has an animated banner at the bottom of the screen showing all of your other social media, which also have pictures of your face. Your friend, okay, you say, come here. Yeah, I'm still finishing this. I'm literally streaming. I said, hey, I, I, what? The game and streaming. Money, I like told Bebe, I said, I will go right after this. Well, I want to know, Alex, how come yeah, I got to even come here and get you? You said that shit you were going to clean up last night. Clean up what? The bottles on the floor, all in there. The change on the floor. A screwdriver on top of your dresser. That I just forgot to do it. In the corner. I just forgot to do it then. Forgot? How you gonna forget? I've been in your ass for about two days with behind this shit. How you gonna forget? Just you could not have made it any easier to confirm your identity. Now, something else I got to learn about you from one of your other social media is that you're actually from Nevada, just like me. From one local to another. I understand that this state is not exactly the best place to grow up in. And there's a lot of shady stuff that happens here from city to city, but you didn't have to choose to be a part of that. Furthermore, I'm assuming you watch my channel and you know that I like to negotiate and make deals. So this is the deal. I'll give you a week from the day I upload this video to either send Gray his money back or send him a tracking number for the graphics card you originally promised him. If you do, you'll be doing the right thing and giving back a Christmas present to a young girl who shouldn't have had her present stolen in the first place. If you don't, I'll be discussing with Gray whether or not we decide to report you to the police, which is fine if you're not scared of that, I completely understand, but it's pretty apparent from your Twitch stream that you still live with your father. I think it'd probably be pretty embarrassing if he received a message from a stranger telling him that his son is stealing money from people on the internet it'd probably give him yet another reason to yell at you when you're on the computer. Now, for those of you guys that have lost all faith in humanity, don't worry, Gray. If this guy doesn't give you your money back or the graphics card, I will be using the ad revenue from this video to either give your money back or get you a GTX 1060, your choice. But just this once, man, you have got to stop using friends and family with strangers on the internet. So to any of you guys watching this video that want to help support Gray's daughter, if you're using an ad blocker, just this once, please turn it off, watch an ad or two if you have the time. I would greatly appreciate that. And just as an FYI, I do have a giveaway planned in the future for this channel. So whatever doesn't go to gray will be hard dedicated for that giveaway. Anyways, I hope you all found this video entertaining or informative in any way, shape or form. Don't ever f with any of my moderators. And as always, have a great day. I actually have one more message out there for our scammer friend. Um, I've had some time to think about it, and while I'm still incredibly pissed at you for f***ing with one of my own people, something actually occurred to me. There is a small chance that you stole this money because you need it for something. I highly doubt that because I saw the gaming PC in the background of your Twitch stream, and I assume if times were really that tough, that would be one of the first things to go. But nonetheless, maybe you really do need the money. What you did was wrong, and I'm still telling you to give the money back, but if you do have a situation, respond to one of my many attempts to try and settle this matter with you privately before I made the video, and uh, we can try to work something out. I'm not saying I'm gonna be able to solve all your problems, but we can at least talk and try to figure something out.